welcome back to my channel! My name is Kelly, and I put out new videos every once in a while. I try and do them every week, but lately life has happened, and now I'm gonna put out the video that I talked about! If you are a new subscriber, hi! Thanks for being here! There's lots of videos on my channel already. If you haven't checked them out, please do, so you can learn lots more about me, who I am, where I live, what I like. It's all there. Today is, you guessed it, another Disney video! You all really liked my five tips on going to Disneyland Paris, and so I thought I'd give you a little look at the things that we picked up while visiting. So this is a Disney haul video. I have never done a haul video. I'm a little bit torn on doing this. So my disclaimer for this video is, you do not have to buy anything. At Disneyland Paris. You do not have to buy the things that we bought. You do not have to spend a ton of money. You do you can spend a ton of money if you are so inclined and so capable. We saved up and I am not in any way trying to brag about the things that we picked up. I just wanted to show you some of the options that are available. As I said in my five tips video, there are fewer product options in Disneyland Paris simply because it's a smaller park, so they're not gonna be bringing in as much crazy merchandise as Walt Disney World would because the place is huge. So, this is what we got. You do not have to get these things. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to show you some of the options that are definitely still available and some things that were a little bit quirky to Disneyland Paris, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into the things. The things we bought. The very first thing we had our minds on. I wouldn't say our eyes on because we hadn't looked around the park, but we knew we wanted to get it. We wanted to get new ears. We wanted to get new Mickey ears because Tom had not been to the park since he was very young. I had not been back to Disneyland Paris. Actually, neither of us had been back in over 10 years. And it was his first time going with me. We really wanted to mark the occasion by getting Mickey ears. As I said in my five tips video, the classic Mickey ears are not available. They don't exist there and there are not the variations on the theme like there are at other parks. However, there are still definitely options. The first thing we had our eye on and actually the first thing we did end up buying were our ears. Should I wear these for the whole video? Maybe. No, you can't see them. So the two most common options at Disneyland Paris are headband ears and baseball hat ears. You know, they have them uh, for Donald Duck and Goofy as well. And Tom picked up Sven, which actually worked out really well because not only is it really funny and fun, it was also rather cold when we were there. We were at Disneyland Paris in February, it was rather cold, and this worked out really well. These snap, they have a little snap button and fold down, so Tom was able to keep his head nice and toasty warm. I don't even know if this will fit on my head. Not really. Oh, I'm gonna mess up my hair. We did not see anyone else the entire weekend wearing this hat. We actually only found it in the Disneyland Village store. We did not see it in any of the parks. I could be totally wrong about it being in the parks. We just didn't see it. We only saw it in the village. And we didn't see anyone else wearing it while we were there. So if you're going in winter and you find it, get it if you really want to stand out. If you don't want to stand out, then don't get it. But if you want to stand out and be noticed, get that. The other most popular option for headwear is headbands. All of the headbands that I saw at the park were headbands that I had seen at other parks. The most common by far were Minnie Mouse ears with a big kind of satiny bow. There were also ears with a mini sorcerer's hat. There were leopard print ears, which I really, really, actually really want, but I've withheld. So I chose to go with the less common option. I only saw a handful of people wearing this, again, the entire weekend that we were there. I picked up these princess ears. Again, I wanted to stand out. We wanted to stand out. We wanted to have a really great time and let everyone know we were having a really great time. So I didn't have any problems picking up pink ears. About a year ago, I almost actually picked up the purple equivalent of these in Disneyland California, but opted for the R2-D2 hat instead. Um, so this is definitely available in Disneyland California as well. I would probably say that it's at Walt Disney World. And it's at Disneyland Paris. It is the more outrageous of the headband options, at least it was in February. And I found it really cute. There you go. Also, I do not have the price tags on any of these items anymore, so I don't actually know what anything costs. And I looked them up online, but 
none of these things are sold online. I can tell you, a hat's about 20 euros. Uh, the headband was probably maybe 16 euros. And other stuff varied. So I will try and remember, but I don't have the price tags. And that is where we are. So something that is super duper important to me and to myself and Tom as a couple, whenever we go anywhere, are two things. Mugs and magnets. Our fridge is full. Well, we have a kind of smaller fridge. This was actually the last thing we picked up on our trip. Disneyland Paris Castle Magnet. We looked at the magnets for days, trying to pick out the best one for us, and this was one of the last ones we actually found. I believe we found it in Main Street and or the Frontierland store. Disneyland Paris has a pretty distinct castle. Every castle is different, and this was the coolest magnet. This was probably- oh, the price is on it. $5.99. 5 euros 99. Boom. The other thing that's super important to us is mugs. If you have watched my videos, you have seen these in other videos because we love these mugs. We love mugs in general. We searched long and hard for mugs. I don't remember what day we actually ended up buying them. It was probably close to the very end of the trip. Honestly, I felt a little bit let down by the mug selection. Actually, no, I take that back. I felt a lot let down by the mug selection. However, Disneyland Paris does not have the mug store in it like Disneyland California does. They just don't have the space, what they've done different layout, such is life. There is a Starbucks at Disneyland Paris, but it is only in the village. Tom really wanted a Little Mermaid mug, but he was pretty specific about what he was looking for. There were tons of Little Mermaid mugs, just not what he was looking for. So instead he picked up this Genie mug, which I think was a great choice. It says Genie on the back, has the little lamp front looks like his face, and the handle looks like his ear. I think that this mug was a great choice. Tom has really enjoyed using it, and it really fits in with our crazy collection of mugs. And my mug, I got this in the Disney Village. They do sell this mug in Disneyland. They sell it in the Disneyland Hotel gift shop. Just Mickey and Minnie with some little glittery hearts in France. The other side says Disneyland Paris with the Disneyland Paris date, opening date. On the inside, you have this cute little letter. I don't really know what I was looking for in terms of mugs. This one makes me pretty happy. I like the travel theme anyway. It fits in with us, and it's super cute. So well, there you go. Next thing I'm gonna show you is the shirt that I got. Tom really wanted to get a shirt, but the men's shirts, not the greatest selection. Lots of regular t-shirts, like tons and tons and tons of regular t-shirts. A few button-up t-shirts. Simply didn't get one for Tom because it wasn't to his particular liking. And we're going back to Disneyland soon. In fact, we might be going back sooner than we thought. Maybe. Hopefully. More on that some other time. But I did get a shirt. I kind of showed this off in another video. It is the Disney Love Series with the Lady and the Tramp sharing a bowl of spaghetti. It's got a really nice neck. The sleeves are short and loose, a little bit tighter around the bottom. I liked it because it wasn't a standard crew neck tee and it had Lady and Tramp on it and they're super cute. The Disney Love Series has five or six t-shirts. There is a men's t-shirt with Mufasa and Simba, um, a women's t-shirt like this with Beauty and the Beast, and another women's t-shirt like this with the Duchess and Marie. Those I remember for certain. There might be more. I couldn't tell you. Those four are definitely there, but there might be six. Had there been one with Ariel and Flounder, like friends, friend love, Totes would have gotten it. Tom would have bought that. We actually spent some time discussing the other options for those shirts and the things that we would have purchased had they existed. The next two things are Tom's specific purchases. Tom really likes to wear fun pin badges on his work shirts, work collars. Whenever we go out uh, to an event, he likes to wear different fun pins. It's his way of expressing his quirkiness. So we picked up two pins for him. He picked up a Little Mermaid Ariel pin and a Peter Pan's flight pin. Tom really loves Little Mermaid. Ariel is his favorite character and princess. And he picked up the Peter Pan's flight one, I think, 
mostly because he knows how much I love Peter Pan and he wanted me to see him wearing it. I'm pretty sure that's what he did. At Disneyland Paris in Frontierland, on your way to the big theater in the back where they have the Enchanted Forest show going on, which is great by the way, you totally should go see it multiple times because it's great and I cried. On your way back there, tucked back in the corner, there is a pin trading post where people can go with all of their pins and all of their briefcases of pins and hang out and trade pins. Uh, there are tables outside and we did see people set up there every day ready to trade pins. That was really cool. The next thing I have to talk about are plushes. By that I mean soft toys. Uh, these are from the Disney store. Every once in a while Tom and I will go into a Disney store and look at all the cute plushes and I lose myself in the cuteness of the plushes and how much I want everything. Everything. I just want everything. So going to the park, I actually felt quite overwhelmed by the amount of choice of plushes. Disneyland Paris does not skimp on their choice of plushes. Everything was cute, everything was affordable, I wanted all of it, and I couldn't choose. Now, I don't know about you in this shopping scenario, but when I am overwhelmed by the cuteness and the amount of choice, I kind of shut down. Trying to choose between all of the cute plushes turned into me saying, oh no, I don't need one. It's just a stuffed toy. I'm I'm too old. Like, I don't, I don't need it. Like, Thumper's the cutest, softest thing I've ever seen. I don't need it though. It's fine. I'll just... So after lots and lots and lots of debate and going back and forth between who is gonna get what and are they gonna match and are they gonna go together, we finally made a decision and our two choices did not match whatsoever. My choice was a Peter Pan Mickey. I wanted Tom to get a Princess Minnie so they kind of would look like Robin Hood and Marion. Like we were just gonna bend the truth. But he didn't. So I got a Peter Pan Mickey because I love Peter Pan and he is quite cute and small. He sits on some books in a windowsill. Because he's so small, he is something I can kind of tuck away and keep as like a nice cute surprise for whoever dares to find him. So this is my Peter Pan Mickey. I believe he was eight euros. He could have been 12 euros, but I'm pretty positive that he was eight euros. Tom's choice was a little bit more drastic. So for my birthday, Tom surprised me with this Sleeping Beauty Aurora Princess doll, um, which he laid out on our bed when we arrived at the hotel. I got this and I got a mug and chocolates and he was really nice. But because I got that, he kind of wanted to stay in theme. And the idea is that once we have a guest room, we will put either Mickey and Minnie or Sleeping Beauty and Dragon Maleficent on the bed in the guest room for whoever's staying. This is our Dragon Maleficent, and I think it is epic. I have never seen Dragon Maleficent. I have no idea if the other parks stock this. I've never seen it online. I think it might be my favorite thing. I believe it was like 18 euros. It could have been like 20 euros. It was pricier. We almost didn't get it because of that, but I'm pretty stoked that we did get it. Maleficent is absolutely my favorite villain, and come on, it's a dragon. Am I surprised Tom got a dragon? No. No. Not at all. On our very last afternoon, we were mooching around the stores, honestly working to figure out what we could possibly spend money on. There was something that we had seen in the Disney Village on our first day, and we thought, that's really awesome. We have to get that. Disney pasta! This is Disney tricolored pasta, and it is €4.50, Euros 50, which is a steal. It's a steal! I know it's just pasta, and it's going to be really hard to show you this. But they are Disney shapes. This one has, you can see Minnie, you can see a castle. What else have we got? More Minnie, more castle. I see a Mickey, but he's tucked in there and I can't really show you. This one might be only Minnie and Mickey in a castle. But I mean, come on, there's castle shaped pasta. Hello. We actually got two options. We got this classic characters one, and we also got a princess version, which we have already eaten. The princess version had the castle and a slipper and I don't know what else, but it was very princess. We have yet to eat this. I think we're saving it for some macaroni and cheese because it's the vibes. 
And this is obviously exclusive to Disneyland Paris. I don't know if the other parks do pasta options. If they do, I'm gonna buy all of it. It's so fun and great and cheap. $4.50 for all that pasta. That's a couple meals right there. I only have two more things. If you've been watching my videos or if you're new and as you continue to watch my videos, you will learn how completely obsessed I am with my dog. Completely obsessed. He's coming now because I'm talking about him. I don't know a dog owner who isn't obsessed with their dog, so what better thing to do when going on vacation but bring back gifts for your dog. He's here now. Hello! Hello! We almost got a Mickey like this for him. We have in the past purchased the Alien toy for him which he just loved. I had never seen this before in any park. I was super excited to find it. It's a dog bowl. We brought Toba back a Disney dog bowl. We only brought one which now serves as his water dish and we only brought one back because they were all the same. Had they had a second one with different characters, maybe some Pongo and Perdita action, I don't know, different pictures, anything to make it different, then yeah, we would have gotten two. I mean, even if one had had like a green background instead of a purple background, totes would have gotten two. Uh, however, because there was only one color, we only got one. This does come in two sizes, large and small. And oh look, a tag. This was $9.99. $9.99, come on, you're gonna spend more on dog bowls at the dog store. So why not have a Disney one? And the very last thing we got, we did not purchase. So when we arrived at the Disneyland Hotel, we were super, super excited. I am beyond excited. Tom's excited, I am beyond excited, ready to get to our room, ready to get our tickets and get in the park. But part of that is getting a lot of documents when you're checking in and going through all of it with the concierge. Um, I was teasing my husband a little bit at the time and we were just having as much fun as we could have, even when checking in, which is super boring and I really wanted to get out of there. But I also wanted to acknowledge your interaction with this concierge because he's a human. So I told him, you know, oh, we're so excited. We've never been together. Um, it's my birthday today. Like we just got here and it's my birthday and I'm so excited, blah, blah, blah. By the time we were all done at the front desk and ready to go out of our room, the concierge guy asked me, what's your favorite character? And I said, Peter Pan. He said, okay, Peter Pan. I'm gonna do something for you. I'm gonna do something for you. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna see what I can do. And I was like, you don't, you don't have to do anything. Um, that's okay. You don't have to do anything, I'm fine. So we find our room, definitely get lost on the way there. Eventually find our room, get settled in. There's a knock at our door about 10 minutes later and it's the concierge guy who presents me with a bag. He hands me the bag and says, I'm sorry, there was no Peter Pan stuff at the store. But I hope you like this instead. Happy birthday. And I thought, oh, you did not just give me a birthday present. <sighs> so he handed me the bag. And inside the bag was a box. And inside the box was some styrofoam. And inside the styrofoam was this. It is Mickey and Minnie. This says Disneyland Paris. He's holding an Eiffel Tower with a little French flag. And it's really cute. So the concierge guy brought me a birthday present. I don't know why, all I know is that I was really excited and I was as friendly as I could be and he brought me a gift. It's not something that I would usually purchase for myself because I don't see the point in putting something on my mantelpiece. However, having it is the greatest reminder and I'm so happy to have something on my mantelpiece. It actually sits in a window sill in our bedroom and I look over it all the time and think, that's cool. And it is cool. By no means at all did this guy have to go and get me a birthday present. We were complete strangers, but that is Disney. That is the magic of Disney, and that is the takeaway from everything. Some comments lately have been a little bit worried about Disneyland Paris and concerned that it won't be as great as the other parks. This statue is proof that Disneyland Paris is just as great as any other Disney park. The magic is there if you want it to be. If you go out of your way to enjoy yourself and have a great time and make sure everyone else is having a great time, then they'll go out of their way to make sure you're having a great time. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. So that's it. Those are the things we purchased at Disneyland Paris. 
I hope you liked some of them or got some ideas on what's available and maybe some of the things you'd like to get. Definitely leave comments below if you liked any of the things and definitely tell me if you got any different things. People do read the comments and it'll be great to know other things that are available now that maybe weren't available when I was there. My social media links are below as well and you can follow me on those channels. So let me know if you'd like to see any other Disney things in general. I love talking about Disney. I'm happy to talk about it all the time and you guys seem happy to listen about it. So I hope you liked this. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you later. Bye!